Hello there, so this is a sort of introduction to uh, my Raspberry Pi videos. Um, I am not a Raspberry Pi uh, experienced user really. I, won it, I got it this summer and recently this week uh, my breadboard and case has arrived and so is this uh, HDMI to VGA adapter so I can use it with my screen just here. Um, also the SD cards uh, came a while ago um, and these these are all the parts which came along with this case because I bought it in a kit so uh, just wires, lots of LEDs a few resistors if you can see them there uh, some jumper leads uh, so hopefully I'm uh, ready to get started right then so I have my adapter here to burn the image to and I'm just going to stick it into the s slot on my computer and then I'll switch into the screen recording and uh, start burning the image. So then, I've now got onto the Raspberry Pi Easy SD card setup page and I'm now going to follow the instructions for uh, copying, an S copying the image to an SD card in Mac OS X. Now, I've already done uh, up to steps uh, 6. So, open up terminal df dash dash h. Here you go. Now, the one I'm looking for is disk 2s1. So now I know that it's 2s1 um, because I know I know this because it's come up as untitled one. Now um, I now need to unmount it. So sudo unmount. Oh sudo sudo disk util unmount dev disk and for me this is 2s1 type my password it says unmount failed that's probably because it's in use so if I go into disk utility uh, I'll just unmount it like this unmount ah there you go that worked so now uh the what I need to do is I need to go sudo sudo dd bs equals one m if um equals now this is the input file I'm just gonna drag and drop this because uh, that's the image that I need to burn to it. OF equals dev and it should be disk 2. Now this should work. Moment of truth. There you go. It's working away. Uh, this will take quite a while, and I will come back once it is finished. Hello, oh, testing, testing. Oh, okay. Okay. So now our image has transferred. I can now go and eject the card. I shouldn't need to make any changes to config.txt which is listed here uh, I don't think I should have to make any changes to that initially um, so I'll quit out of this eject that and then I'll uh, record the rest on video okay so here's my SD card adapter and now I'll just get, briefly walk through what I've got set up here so I've got my mouse here my keyboard here and these two are plugged into the 
USB sockets there. I have Ethernet plugged in here. This is my HDMI adapter, uh, which then goes onto my VGA and goes into this screen here. Um, and then I don't have anything plugged into the uh, GPIO ports yet, uh, but that will be for investigating with later. So, uh, here is the moment of truth. I'll put the SD card in. And then I will plug the power cable in. Oh, yep, here we go. Seems to be working. I think you just see lots of log messages when you begin. Uh, just it kind of helps debug, I guess. And also, most Linux. Uh, output or most minute Linux startups or something like this anyway. So then I appear to have got some sort of config screen. Uh, I should probably enable the well let's maybe I should try that again. Uh, I would like to be enabled. Okay. Uh, boot behavior. Start desktop on boot. Yes. Um, just one little update here. Not quite sure what this does. Uh, probably improves the operating system via some sort. Uh, I, this You had need to be connected to the internet for this. Um... It appears to just be updating some sort of uh, Wheezy packages. Uh, can't really tell what it's doing. I might. I think it's probably better if I come back after this is finished, and uh, then we'll just continue. Okay, so it got to the end of that and said that it was already the most recent version. So I'm not really sure if there was any point in doing that. Um, so now, uh, password and everything is, should be default, so I'll just, uh, finish the tool, and, I appear to be in some sort of, uh, command line, can I type stuff? Uh, yeah, I can start, uh, I might exit and see if rebooting helps. I think I'll just pull the power cable out and restart at the moment. There it goes, so it goes to a little coloured splash green. Uh, then all the different uh, log things again. And sort of timestamp, so you can see this has taken uh, 10 seconds so far. And it seems just to be spinning through this very, very quickly. Uh, oh, yes. This is it. This is it. Uh, this is the desktop. Uh, we've got terminal. Let's just, uh, I'll check the version of the GCC compiler. Oh, there you go. So. I'm not sure if you can see that. That's the GCC version compiler. And uh, there's also Python on here. Now, Python isn't really my preferred language, so I don't program in it. Um, I think I clicked on the window. Yeah, you can see in the bottom right corner is a little performance of what the processor usage is like which can be quite useful uh, for seeing whether you've opened a program or something. Right, so let's just try a simple addition. 5 add 5, 10, there you go. What about uh, 5 power of 20? Oh, maybe that does something different then. Well, I assume that was the power. Um, anyway, nonetheless, we have Python. 
if you look down in the bottom right corner, um, you have just some accessories, file manager, Im image viewer, uh, I guess it can, yeah, can be quite useful, root terminal, and then obviously there's logout. So I'll probably shut down now. And I think that's probably all for today's episode. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more episodes later. Uh, when I see... When I uh, get to grips with it all and start looking at some other uh, things that I can put onto it. Okay, bye for now then.